At six in the morning, Mario was sleeping in his small house in a small Mexican community. At seven, eight, and nine o'clock, he was still asleep. At ten o'clock most days, Mario woke up at approximately eleven, Mario was fortunate because Pedro, the shopkeeper, was a good friend and never asked him to pay for his food. However, one morning Pedro woke up feeling irate and went to the shop to buy tortillas and coffee for his breakfast, he thought to himself, I wake up at five every morning to go to work, but Mario lies in bed all morning doing nothing. I give him free food, but that's enough. If he wants any more free food, he'll have to work for me later that morning, at the scheduled moment. Mario's wife entered the store. Tell your husband that I can't give him any more free food, the music played. If Pedro helps me move some huge boulders from the quarry, I'll build an additional room on the side of my house, and you can have more food, as Pedro offered, when Mario heard Pedro remark, those rocks are too heavy for me to move, he exclaimed, oh no, how many times must I say if God wants to give, he'll give, and when he gives, he'll push it in through the window. Also, please stop talking about work, instead, how about a wonderful cup of hot coffee, later that morning, as Mario was walking up the hill and enjoying the clouds in the sky, he heard shouts behind him. Mario turned around and saw that a horse was galloping toward him while a man was riding it. The man was shouting, but the horse didn't stop. The rider shouted again, but the horse didn't slow down. Now the horse was directly in front of Mario, the rider, an elderly man with long white hair, got down and said, you don't run around all day like other people. But you're there when someone needs you. You're very kind. But to be like this is not hard. I try to sleep well, eat well, and not worry about things. Mario jumped at it, took the horse's reins in his hands, and made it stop. I want to offer you a present from God since you helped me today, the elderly man said. Mario asked what happens when God gives someone a gift. The old guy responded that only the recipient of a gift from God is permitted to retain it. Mario followed him as they went up the hill, when the elderly guy stopped and pointed out a huge rock with some leaves underneath it and various chests within, God's gift will be there for you when you need it. Mario approached the rock, kneeled by it, and took it in his hands. He then moved the leaves to reveal six wooden chests. Mario opened the first chest to find hundreds of silver coins inside. He then opened the second and third chests, and all six were full of silver coins. Mario turned to thank the elderly guy, but oddly enough, he was nowhere to be found. Mario took a few of the dollars and placed them in his pocket, after finishing all of this work, he rested under a tree and went to sleep. When Mario awoke, he was hungry and thought back to something involving a horse, an elderly man, and some silver. Did this really happen, or was it all in his head? He asked himself, but then he remembered something much more important, lunch. He hurriedly descended the hill to his house when he heard a clink, he reached into his pocket and pulled out six silver coins. That evening, as Mario's wife returned to the store, she gave Pedro the coins her husband had sent them. Saying, we need rice, a chicken tortilla, tomatoes, and coffee, Pedro's mouth dropped open as he saw the silver dollars in Mario's fingers. How did Mario get so much money? Pedro exclaimed. Pedro heard the story the following morning, the wife added, and he'll tell you. Although Mario yelled, why didn't you bring all those chests home with you? They were too heavy. He wasn't really sure whether it was true. Mario added, I needed horses to transport them, but I don't have any, and how many times have I told you that if God wants to give, he'll give, and when he gives, he'll push it in through the window. I know Pedro said I had some horses, but I need horses to carry them, if you agree, 
I'll come to your house with my horses carrying all six boxes, you retain three of them and give the other three to me, and we'll both become wealthy. Mario expressed his happiness at his wife's preparation of a superb chicken for supper, Pedro returned to his business. But he had a thought, why should I share the silver with Mario when the horses are mine alone? Mario will just continue to eat and sleep as normal since he can do nothing and has no idea what to do with the money, while I always know what to do with money. At 11 p.m. that evening, I'll start construction on a bigger residence. Mario was sleeping, according to his spouse, Mario awoke his wife and said, Wife, wake up, it's already 11 o'clock and your friend hasn't come, he's just late, before going back to sleep. An hour later, the wife awoke her husband once more and said, Husband, it's midnight, and I'm afraid that Pedro has decided to keep all the silver for himself. At midnight. It's too late to go anywhere, before saying, Wife, go to sleep. Mario again. Pedro walked up the hill while Mario was asleep. He instructed his men to move a rock and search behind some leaves where they discovered six chests, which they then opened. Pedro replied, but when they opened them, they found simply a bunch of dirt and stones within. My friend Mario is making fun of me and finds this amusing. Pedro said, well, I know how to be humorous too. He ordered his men to load the chests onto the horses and drag them down the hill, leaving all the mud and stones in front of Mario's house, they completed this, after which they returned home. The following morning, when Mario's wife awoke, she was unable to open any windows or doors. She woke my husband up by saying there was something outside. And we couldn't open the window or door. When Mario got out of bed, he attempted to open the door but was unsuccessful. Instead, he attempted to open the window, which eventually cracked open. Many silver coins fell to the ground after falling through the crack. Pedro may have arrived last night, the wife and husband argued, but I'm hungry from all this work, so how about a nice tortilla? Later that morning, the shopkeeper's mouth opened for the second time in two days, Mario's wife entered the store and purchased additional food and clothing for herself and Mario. She told the shopkeeper, what happened yesterday? We waited for you until midnight, and I was worried when you didn't come. Then this morning it all came through the window, but surely you gave us more than half, it wasn't me, and placed twenty silver coins on the counter in front of the shopkeeper. There was silence before Pedro said softly, your husband always says that if God wants to give, he'll give, and that when he gives, he'll push it in through the window. Of course, who else would leave all those silver coins outside our house? 